Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a new kind of video. It is actually just uh, how I do my hats, uh, crocheting my hats with the loom. And a lot of you guys had asked on my Snapchat when I was showing my hat on there. So I'm actually just going to make a, a hopefully a simple video for you guys. Um, I know when I first started doing this, I was always hesitant of doing it and always scared if I was going to mess it up. And a lot of times I did mess it up trying to watch tutorials, but yes, um, hopefully this is simple for you guys. Right here, I'm just actually just showing you guys the difference between the strings and what I like. If you are a beginner, I suggest getting the white string because it's actually just one string compared to the other one where it's actually multiple strings in one. Um, I'll show you as the video goes on what do I mean by that. But for beginners, I do suggest to get the white string where it's just like literally one fuzzy string. And my kids love it if you're going to make it as a kid's hat. My kids love it because it's super, super soft and they're actually easy to wash in the washer since they don't always like come apart this here is what i have on the smaller loom of what i was going to show you so here i'm showing you like i said this uh string where it has like multiple strings in one this is basically one string right here is what i'm showing you and um like i said this is just one string it has as you can see it has multiple little strings but it is as in one string and then here there's two strings at the bottom and then one string at the bottom so with sewing or crocheting looping this one you kind of have to know which string is which and then go from there so like I said with the white string it is so much easier especially for beginners that are just starting out trying to do this with a loom definitely get this really soft fuzzy kind of white string it doesn't have multiple strings in one it's just one string and that's one reason why i love it when i first started out i started out with one with the multiple strings acting as one but as i got the hang of it and stuff like that i found actually this string later on when i had um this kind of string later on when i had probably already went through my third hat and um i loved it so much better and then my children's my children loved it a lot as well so definitely get that now with this loom you're gonna see this little peg at the kind of the side um a lot of stores like michael's joann's um hobby lobby they have these package looms and they're all in different sizes and what you're gonna do is tie your string to start out just like how I'm showing you right here this is what you will be doing uh, kind of like get your little bunny ear put it through and let go and you're gonna do it like that kind of like a little knot um, but it's very easy to move around and you'll be able to actually go ahead and uh, take it out when need to be as I will show you here in a little bit so you're going to put it on the little peg that sticks out to the side and just try to adjust it to your liking. I like to do it a little short. Um, I usually do it a little shorter than this, but to show you guys kind of the difference, I'm going to do it like this. And when you get used to it, you'll go shorter and shorter on the string. So the first thing you're going to be doing is actually going ahead and looping this around exactly like that and doing it to every single one. Now, the thing is, you could do it going this way or you could go it the other way, the opposite way. Uh, really, it is just your hand preference of how you're holding the loom, what feels comfortable to your hand. But make sure when you are doing this loop that the string that you're going to see... Um, like do make sure it's just how it shows like this um the back part of the string is inside of the loom um and the wrapping around is on the outer side that is one way you're going to make sure your hats are um going to be hats or it's going to be a humongous mess when you do it the other way um so like i said i hope this helps you 
when trying to do it and starting it out. But you're going to do three times this uh, first time. And then you're going to go ahead as you get to here, loop it around again. And then that will be your second row going through. Push all of them down and this will be your second row going through. After the second row, you're going to need your last row, which is your third row. And yes, make sure you keep a hold of it because then it's just going to unravel. But like I said, with this string, it's so much easier for beginners. And as you may be able to see, the part of the hat will be in the inside of the loom. And then the outer parts of the hat will be on the outside of the loom. So make sure when you're doing it, your, your loom looks just like this. So like I said, um, this will be your second row and then the last one will be your third row. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see this part. Again, just try to make sure you do it just like this. Um, but yeah, you could do it going the way I'm going. Um, if you're left-handed, go ahead and go the other way. Again, whatever your hand feels comfortable doing, which, which way you're going. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but, um, whatever way your hand feels comfortable, go ahead and do that. Just make sure the in part of the, inside of the loom part, as you're going to see, is you've, if you see, like, on the desk side, how the string is, it looks straight you want to make sure about that now here goes the third row and like I said this is easy when you put it together this is going to be a part where you're gonna have two strings together but you're gonna basically sew this into the hat so you won't have to like chip it off or trying to tie it or anything like that it's easier if you put that last string or that little string that you put on your little pin on the side of the loom um, to go with it and I'll show you how to sew it in here after I do my last row right here but you'll be able to see how this goes so here at the end um, as I wrap my last uh, peg you are going to try to like move the thing but you get your last string all the way at the bottom which technically is your first string um, and you put it over that locks that string in so that string is not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna unravel like I said if you let go when you let go it unravels it well that will actually lock it in so you could go ahead and sit it there and then come back to it um, now with this part because we added the one that we had around here to here so these are two strings, you're going to count them as one. So you're still going to get this bottom one down here, just like this, and put it over like that, and go. All the way through. Just like that and you're gonna lock them and then it starts going again with the three one two three you move this up get those one put it over like that so I'm gonna do this with the rest of these all the way around that's pretty much what you do exactly how I did it on this one that I was just showing you it's gonna just be the same thing on here it's just now you gotta just only worry about these three strings and not worry about like how I have to deal with this one. I have to deal with which strings are for that one string kind of thing. If you get what I mean by when I say something like that. Like this one string. This one string has four. This one string has this one string has four as well. So having to deal with the, these being two strings, if you get what I mean, and then these ones are being three strings, because there's three strings. This one actually, that's why I said, with this one, I like it better for beginners, because you're able to actually see 
three strings and then you just keep doing exactly what I was just doing and just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again and then I'll show you here in a minute of how you do it when you close it so with this part I already did these but here's what I was here's your third string this is your second string and if you remember correctly these are the two strings that was included with this that I had added you're gonna get both strings acting like one and putting it over and then you're back to having these two strings until you redo it all over again to make it three now with this one like I'm gonna show you I have to deal with multiple strings and then figuring out which ones are the three strings um, like me I'm already used to it but this sometimes is a little bit more harder for people that are just learning how to so like I said it's best to go ahead and just go ahead and get the the white string that kind of string instead of uh, getting your yarn um, or your old-fashioned yarn <laughs> but um, if you're gonna do it with the kind of yarn like this then go ahead it's the same thing basically you circle around three times and the one at the bottom is the one that you're going to get and put it over the pin so yep just gonna keep doing this just keep doing it um keep going around and around and here i'm going to show you again especially with this one it's the same thing you just go around the pegs over and over again and again this is already locked in so go ahead and just go around the pegs each time and then again get the bottom string pull it over the peg and lock that other string in place when you're at the end Okay, so this part, since I don't have much string left, this is what I have left to finish the hat. What I'm going to be doing, you could also just go ahead and add the string, like attach another string to this and add it. But I'm just going to finish off right here. This is now one string here. I already did these ones. These ones are the doubles. So here's the one string, and then these ones are the doubles. So... I already did exactly, sorry for not showing it, but I already did the three, went over just like normal, and then with this, it left me with two. Now with the two, I'm gonna grab the one at the bottom, put it over, and then you'll have just one. So you're just gonna keep doing this here. Sorry, my hands are a little slippery. But um, yeah, you're just gonna keep doing this going and putting all the ones that are two putting over just keep doing that all the way straight through and I'll so I'm getting here to the end do these last couple ones our last one now we're back here to where this string is actually it. Now with this string, what I'm gonna do, okay, so to how to get this to start of what I was doing, you're gonna get your extra string that was here. These are all just one string. Sorry, these are all just one string. So this one string, to get this started going through here is where I had started and I'm over here now. 
So with this one string, you're gonna actually, since it's on this side, you're gonna put it through and put it on top, like that. You're gonna hold on to it. You're gonna get your mighty little hook. <laughs> go under this one. You're gonna twist and go over. You're going to bring that down and out like that. Then you're just gonna pull and you have that hooked, put that across. You're gonna get this, put it over over here and do the same. You're gonna go under, over, through and under and out. So you're just gonna keep doing that. So I'm gonna do this a little bit with you guys really fast. I hope you guys were able to see that. Again, it's just over, under, and out. So I'm gonna keep doing this for the rest of the way. I'm gonna keep doing this the rest of the way and this is actually what you're gonna end up with, kinda of like this. And I'll show you how to close that. But this is what you're gonna be doing, exactly this. So, to kinda of show you guys. That is what you'll be doing. This is what the rest has the ref the rest of the half looks like, and this is what we're doing right now to finish it up and close the hat on the top. Okay, so I'm at the last three. This is what the hat is starting to look like on the top. And again, you're still just going to grab, pull, go through. Oops. Pull up, go around, and the same thing. Cats, give me my string. And they'll do this. I love hot. <laughs> you scared the cat. But I love hot Cheetos. <laughs> wow. I love hot Cheetos. You love hot Cheetos? Yeah. Mm. When? Okay. So again, you do this over, around. Yeah and out. If my cat stops getting my string, it would work a little better. And then here's the last one. You're going to do the same with the last one and around. You're going to take this off. This is the top part. Oops. Better if I got it that way. Hey, cat, you're scr scratching my feet. This is the top. Here's your string. This is the bottom. I actually tied this right here, so I'm going to have to snip that off. But if you see the one with my white, the white one, I showed you how to get that extra string that is basically on here like this and how to sew it in with it so you don't have this kind of problem but uh with this one i end up just doing it like this and i completely forgot to sew it in and i was already halfway in like halfway to here i was like Ugh, whatever either that or it's gonna end up building this thing all the way up here but anyways this is the top part of the hat and cat stop this is what i have to deal with with my cat this is what I have to deal with because my cat keeps grabbing my string. Nick, you're grabbing my string. See, this is my string. It's hanging off to the side. Nick. <laughs> so, anyways, little cat video going on. What you're going to do 
is pull it. Pull. Pull. Ow! Cat! Pull, pull, pull. Move and pull, move and pull, move and pull, move and pull. This part, I'm gonna put inwards or inside. So it's gonna come out this way. We're gonna pull, pull. So if you go from this side, pull, pull, pull. Now, my ring moving around. Make sure all of it is like that. Everything is pulled through. Now with this part, I'm just going to sew it in here. Probably be better this way. Sew it in. And I'm actually using this here little it's actually a uh, aluminum crochet hook it has like this extra little hook it's a little different kind of a hook than this one sorry I'm trying to so it's a different kind of hook if you see from that one it's easier to go through some of these and what you're gonna do is go under and just pull. And that's what we're gonna do, kinda just all the way around, so it gets, oops, it gets to uh, closing it. It'd be much easier to close when it's all the way around. going to be doing here. Knot it to keep it closed. Get your scissors. Okay, right there. This is what we have left out of all of it. So this is your hat. That is the top. And we're going to cut this. as well. So like I said, do exactly what I had shown with the white hat that I'm making because I showed you guys how to sew in that extra piece with your hat so then you don't have to deal with this lovely fuzzball. But this is what the hat looks like. It's just like this. And if you put it inside out, you kind of have this design. So it goes like that, and then it's like very, very stretchy. So either does either way of the design you would like, that's kind of just how this one goes. So that's the hat, and it looks like that. Again, either way of the design it goes that's the way your hat is gonna look so I hope you guys like this video hope this helped I hope it was easy for you to follow and everything like that um, again comment down below if you want me to do another one or did I miss something um, but yeah I hope you guys liked it don't forget to hit that subscribe button the like button to give a big like if you liked how this video was and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.